Welcome, I am Akash and this is my project partner Arun who is making the recording. Uh, our project is uh, based on neural network. It implements neural network on a rover. It has been done in the electronics of IT console. Uh, our project, uh, in our project there is a simple robot. Uh, first of all, it has some controls like moving forward, backward and turning right left. It has some arbitrary controls. This is to stop that if I press this stop button, and even if I am pressing the motion keys, it will not work. This is simply to uh, learn and learn. Learn and learn. Uh, learning is based on uh, our neural network that, has, that will be explained later. This is to control the speed. Like it is moving forward, this controls the speed. Yes, this controls the speed. Okay, and uh, uh, this is for a special function. Uh, that does not concern right now. So basically, our, uh, this is a set of four LDRs that will take uh, environment input, and uh, this is a set of uh, some five functions that will uh, give to function input. Function input is, uh, is uh, instruction input that what instruction act it has to be done, and this is environment input uh, that it will detect light from uh, direction, like a flash light and it will detect it uh, and uh, this is functional input and what, will, what it will do in long run is that it will correlate the functional input with the environmental input in the sense that uh, if I am continuously flashing light from forward direction and telling it to move right then in the long run it will learn that okay light from forward direction means that it has to turn right so next time even if I don't give it the instruction via this remote I give this remote and I give it light, still it will uh, rotate, right. Uh, so that is how learning has been implemented in it and it has been done all by our neural network that has been coded into this Agnodac stream. This is our robot. Uh, here there are four LDRs, light dependent resistance uh, that take uh, light from four directions. Uh, the benefit of this arrangement is that the wayward uh, input from uh, the wayward light from anywhere it will not enter but the uh, highly directed light like once from touch will enter into the LDR and it will automatically detect it this is our main PCB uh, our Mega 16 is hosted on it we have an LCD display that uh, tells us about the internal functioning of our program uh, this is the input from NDR this is the output to the motor motor, motor driver uh, motor driver, this is power source, this is output to the motors uh, which basically make the motor run and this is the input from remote and uh, this is light just to show that everything is working fine and this is our power supply and uh, this is our power supply, we are taking it from the adapter over there and uh, this is basically what we feed into the robot Welcome, I am Akash. This is uh, Arun, my project partner. We are we were doing project on neural network where that has been implemented on the robot. Uh, so first, uh, show the controls like right? forward, uh, forward, backward, like right? forward, backward. Okay, and uh, initially, see, uh, it it has one characteristic that it will inhibit strong light. Right? Uh, what do I mean by that? Is if you um, See, too strong light it will, like the light source is very close, so it is a very strong light for it, then it will try to inhibit it, it will try to move away. Now, uh, you you push power button, keep it pressed, okay. press power button. Now, 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 it is trying to inhibit, it will not go very close to it. You have kept it pressed, but it is okay. not going forward. And uh, you release it. Now see, uh, it will go backward actually. So this is the action of inhibition and it will, uh, that will try to, uh, not to go so close to light. And uh, see initially it has got no learning, learning by learning I mean that you will see the shot right. You can see that I am flashing light straight into it but it is not responding at all. Now we will make it learn something. Learn, uh, say I will make it learn that when I am flashing light from forward direction, it will move forward. Okay, I am pressing forward direction, so 
so that it uh, it learns that on pressing the light it will move forward. Yes. Uh, I will try. I will try light from this section and you make it move. Okay, I am moving. Okay. Keep keep it going. Please can for okay. What have you done? Okay, I'm going to start with this. So we'll make our robot learn. Learn the sense that I will flash light from forward direction and he will tell it to move forward. Okay? So I am flashing light, you make it move forward. Okay. 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 I'm flashing light. Okay. Now uh, I think it has learned. No, not yet. Okay. Uh, this has to be done for some time. Still it has not learned. Uh, make it move forward. Yes, it has learned actually. Now I am releasing the uh, robot's remote and it will move forward when it uh, I give that, it moves. I give, it moves. I give, it moves. It moves. I give it from it does not move. It does not move. It does not move. It moves. So, uh, so, so we have basically made it learn that when light is going from forward direction, it will uh, move forward. But that does not mean that it has forgotten its inhibition action. Still it inhibits. See. That is the reason. Okay. Uh, now I, I forgot to tell one thing. Uh, there is a special function uh, that has been hard coded into this and uh, make that special function work. Hmm. Press that button. See. It has filling. Uh, See, uh, this is a special function that will move forward for some time and then it will uh, turn. Okay, so uh, we can also make it learn that which input light corresponds to which corresponds to the special uh, special signal. Uh, like uh, I can make it learn that when light is flashed from this direction, it will perform the special action. Okay, so we try doing that. I am flashing light from here, and you make it perform the special action. Okay, okay, leave the thing. Leave it. Okay, once now. Once more, once more. It has to be around three or four times. Okay. Little. Okay, once more. It has to be done actually. Now let me see. See, it has done automatically. It is performing the special action. So, uh, this special action has been introduced just to show the arbitrariness that uh, it can it is not to motion backward forward it can be anything that special function can be hard coded it is simply a function so uh, you can see how powerful it is it is a learning technique and um, that's all now for it